Now let's try to understand what is balance of trade. Now this topic is very important from examination point of view and this is also one of the topic of economics. So let's learn this in a better sense. Balance of trade records the volume of goods and services imported as well as exported by a country to other countries. So it is basically a record which keeps a track of trade between two countries. And by trade, we mean both export and import of goods and services. Now there are both negative and positive aspects of balance of trade, meaning it can go in both positive as well as negative value. Let's understand negative first. Suppose if you're importing, that is bringing in a lot of goods and services from some other country, then you'll have to pay a lot of money for that because you're in the receiving end. Now if you're producing things in your place and selling it to other countries in fulfilling their needs, then you're exporting. Here you will receive a lot of money in return because now you are the provider, previously you were the receiver. So far so good and now understand this. If you are receiving more than providing, which is importing more than exporting, then your cost is going to be more than revenue, meaning you will have to pay more in importing than earning through exporting. In this scenario, your balance of trade is negative or we call it as unfavorable balance of trade. Now the same value becomes positive when opposite happens wherein your export is more than import. Let's quickly summarize this. A negative balance means a country is importing that is spends more on buying goods than exporting which is selling its own goods. Now if the value of balance of trade is a negative that will lead to exhaustion of a country's financial reserve. If you want to see more of such educational content, make sure you're subscribed. By doing so, you'll get an alert when my next video comes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.